So we have the inverse cosecant, well, a cotangent of the inverse cosecant of square root of 10. So um, cosecant's the same thing as 1 over sine. Um, so we can think of this as 1 over sine. Um, so which is equal to 1 over the square root of 10, which means that's going to be 1. This is going to be root 10. And this is going to be 3 because it's uh, the square root of square root of 10 squared, which ends up being 10 minus 1 squared, which is just 1, equals square root of 9, which is equal to 3. All right, so then we have this. Um, so that was our hypotenuse based off of what we have for the sine here because it's 1. It's the same thing as just uh, 1 over square root of 10. So now we have the cotangent. Cotangent is equal to the cosine over the sine, uh, or essentially just... Um, x over y, which is equal to, in this case, the x component is equal to a 3. And this is going to be bound between um, negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 because that's where the sine or cosecant is bound to, and y is equal to 1. So ultimately, what we end up with is just 3. And that's it. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.